Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to learn how to use snapshots to protect your VMs. So what are snapshots? In virtualization, a snapshot is a feature that allows you to save a VM in its current state. Why is this important? Because later in the future, you can restore the VM to the state no matter how much the VM has changed since the snapshot was taken. This actually is very handy when you want to do something like test, or maybe you're about to make a change and you're not sure if you want to keep that change. This allows you to roll back to the previous snapshot. As you can imagine, this will save you lots of time and energy because the alternative is to have to go back and build a VM from scratch. And by the way, every VM technology has its version of snapshotting, including VirtualBox. So let's go ahead and take a look at this VirtualBox example. I have Oracle VirtualBox Manager open, and as you can see, I have a VM called Windows Desktop. I'm currently on the details page, but if I want to take a closer look at the snapshots, I can click on this icon here and click on Snapshots. As you can see, this particular VM has various snapshots that have already been taken. It's actually very easy to take a snapshot and to restore to a previous one. Every snapshot listed here is actually a point in time. Now, snapshots can be taken when the virtual machine is either in a pause state or shut down. If you take a look at this example, you'll see that I took a snapshot at the beginning and I called it Windows 10 base installation. It's a good time to take a snapshot after you've set up the operating system and given it a basic configuration. Then the Windows VM was rebooted and updates were applied and I decided to take another snapshot. It's good to take snapshots prior to applying any change to the system, including updates. As we know, sometimes these updates don't always result in, in a successful outcome. And after that snapshot, the system was rebooted, additional changes were made, and additional snaps were taken in different points of time. It's very easy to revert back to a previous snapshot. Here's an example where I took a snapshot after Windows 10 was upgraded to Windows 11. Let's say I wanted to revert back to an earlier snapshot such as the second one here, Windows 10 updates were applied. I could do a restore, and as you notice, it takes me to that branch, the Windows 10 Updates Applied branch, and it puts me down here under the current state. So I have an opportunity here to continue from that branch on. Notice that the Windows 11 Upgrade snapshot is still saved, and I can revert to that snapshot at any point in time. Let's say, for example, I do want to revert back to the latest uh, Windows 11 um, branch here. I can click on this link and say Restore, and now I'm back on this Windows 11 Upgrade branch that I created. If I were to restart the machine and continue working, this current state would continue to grow and continue to store the, the existing state of the machine. Let's say I went ahead and I made some changes and I powered the machine off. And if I wanted to take another snapshot, all I have to do is click on this Take button and give my snapshot a name. Let's just call it Additional Changes to System and hit OK. Notice now that a snapshot has been taken and my current state is pushed down. Again, at any point in time, I can either continue on the current state or I can revert to a previous state. The point here is that you should use snapshots to protect your VMs. And even though the snapshots do take additional storage on your whole system, it's really worth the investment. Because without these snapshots, if something bad were to happen to your VM as far as its state, or maybe it's unusable or has some type of corruption, Without that snapshot, you'd have to revert back to the beginning and start again. Here, if something goes wrong, I can always go back to a previous state and recover from that change. Well, hopefully this was a helpful video. Feel free to take a look at our virtualization playlist as we have more videos to share with you. Well, that's the end of this video for today. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment below.